Hello everyone, welcome back to Random Farm. So we are greeted here by Gunther or I guess Marnie. And this is an amazing start to the episode because I'm pretty sure this means we've got the sewers unlocked, which is huge because we do need the sewer legendary fish. So hopefully we'll be able to get that today. Oh, good morning, Miss Lil. I hope it's not too early. Ah, uh, it's pretty early, Gunther Marnie. It's pretty early. Well, I just wanted to stop by and thank you in person for the wonderful artifacts and minerals you've discovered. You've done so much for one person. Ah, thank you for appreciating my hard work, Gunther. It's been a very, very difficult feat. It has. In fact, I've just received a letter from the Office of Regional Secretary of Artifacts. We are being honoured with the coveted Golden Shovel Award for our significant contributions to the field. Ooh. And it's all thanks to you. Ah. Well, I should let you get back to your work. Is that all? Where's the key? Come on, give us the key. Oh, I almost forgot. Of course you did. I have a gift for you. It's an old key that's been sealed in the museum vault for at least 100 years. It's a little rusty, but still beautiful. Yay! You got the rusty key. It's been added to your wallet. Okay, we can traverse the sewers now. This is amazing. Also, it's a rain day, so I can harvest all of the things we have and we don't even have to water. Wow, we have a lot. Actually, we have Collarillo, we have Pumpyanda. I think, are these our first Pumpyandas? Your friend Nikki is allergic to these. I didn't even know I had a friend Nikki, but apparently I do. Poor Nikki. I'll never get to experience the sweet, sweet taste of Pumpyandas. I will continue to harvest all of this real quick. And then it is a Wednesday, which means we can go to Marnie's and get ourselves a cow. How huge is that? I am excited to get ourselves a cow. I can't lie. Okay, most of everything has been harvested now. We still do have a while of the season left, so I don't know why I don't have much planted, but apparently we don't. I'm gonna sell a couple of these, but I'm gonna keep most of them for jars. Maybe we should make some more jars. That wouldn't be a terrible idea. We have so much harvested in here. Also, our steel pickaxe will be finished tomorrow, so we can't go mining today, unfortunately, even though it's a good luck day. So I think we're going to spend the day doing some errands that I have collected from the comments. I want to get ourselves a cow for sure. And then I also want to go up to the Adventurers Guild. Someone told me to go to the Adventurers Guild to get my prize or whatever. Then I think we might upgrade our barn so that we can get goats. We gotta wait outside here for Marnie first though, don't we? Maybe I'll chop wood whilst we wait. And then someone had the really good idea of buying a phone from Robbins. And that way I won't have to go to Gus's because I can call him up and check what his stock is. So I don't have to go all the way over to him, which is such a good idea and will save us so much time overall. Because if he doesn't have anything we need, we just don't have to bother waiting around for him to open. So huge big brain idea from comment. I don't know how much wood we're going to need for the barn upgrade because we still don't know what we're actually in need of. It could be hardwood. This could all be useless to us, but I'll still collect it anyways. Who knows when we might need wood, you know? Okay, Marnie should be open now. Let's grab ourselves a little cow. This is so weird. George, why is George here? Wait, who is Lewis in this playthrough? Pierre? Oh, so... Pierre and George are getting it on. So they are Pierre's shorts in George's room. Interesting. And why is Jazz Demetrius? I'm sorry. <laughs> Everything is so wrong. Okay, let's get ourselves a dairy cow. And what shall we name her? It's got to be something really random, don't it? Well, what if we do the wrong names for each of the animals? Because that's kind of randomized, right? So if we call a cow a chicken, like, I don't know. Hmm. What would we name a chicken? <laughs> so if we call the cow chicken, it's like the animals have been randomized. What do we think about that? That kind of fits the theme. And then the chickens can be called cows. I don't know. It's not that original, but until y'all come up with better names, I'll go for chicken. <laughs> Thanks, George. And I'm also going to need a milk pail as well. So I'll grab one of those. Perfect. And I think we only need one cow, really, because we only need one milk. So let's head up to Robin's now and see what was needed for this barn upgrade. Alternatively, we could buy the coop because that's something I also want to do because I think it would be worthwhile. Wait, we could go and check on little chicken. Oh, they're so cute. I do also need to get a silo probably so I can harvest some hay because right now little chicken has nothing to munch on. Sorry. Because it's a rain day, she can't even go outside, bless her. Right, here is the moment of truth. What is the barn upgrade going to cost us? Maple syrup and 35 stone. Also, it's really cheap. 
This is amazing news for us because we definitely have maple syrup, I reckon. And stone, I mean, 35 stone is so easy. This is a steal. Sandy is just giving big barns away. This is huge for us. Okay, I am also, whilst I'm here, going to grab that telephone because that's such a good idea. Let me have one of those. Is there anything else we want? Probably not, right? Like, I mean, there's things I want and I have the money for and I want to buy things, but I won't. I won't do it. I'm committed to only buying the necessary things in this playthrough. My no buy challenge taught me so much. Like, I genuinely think I kicked the habit of just buying unnecessary junk because I've been so much more like restrained in all of my playthroughs now. I really, really think about the purchase before I just jump into it, which is a huge improvement, I must say. Thank you, no buy challenge. Okay, we have the maple syrup and I'm pretty sure we definitely have stone. Oh yeah, we have so much stone. We have like over a thousand five hundred stone. <laughs> so we can definitely spare 35 of it. I feel like we lucked out here a little bit. We also have jams to harvest, so I'll grab these quick. Before we run back to Robin's, I will refill them too. Let's put some collarillos in there. I want to see how they do. I should really make some more jars, shouldn't I? I think they were pretty relatively simple to make. Oh yeah, iron ore and copper ore. We can definitely make more of those. Ew! Morris is here? Morris is Maru? How have I not noticed this yet? When it rains, I have a good excuse to work on my gadgets all day. Oh, Morris is Maru. It must be kind of boring for you though. Now nah, we've got so much to do. We just bought a cow Maru. It's huge. Maru Morris. I hate that. Okay, let's construct this big barn. I am so excited. Oh, whilst I'm here, I'll also check what's needed for the silo. Okay, the hardest thing to get for the silo is going to be the clay because as we know, we've really struggled to get it. But we found a better method, which is just spend all day and all night digging the ground and eventually you'll get it. So I think we could get ourselves a silo. What is needed for a coop as well? White algae and also clay. Clay? Why is clay needed for everything? What is with that? Okay, give us the big barn, please, Sandy Robin. Here we go. We've done it. So now we can get goats. Well, in a few days, we'll be able to get some goats. That is huge. We've just basically guaranteed ourselves a little bit when it comes to the bulletin bundle because we do need the goat's cheese and we also need the milk. So we've definitely like guaranteed ourselves Willy's bundle pretty much. And Kent's is looking more doable too. Oh, also someone in the comments actually let me know that I donated an obsidian. Oh, that's so painful. Why did I do that? I thought I checked if they were needed for the CC, but clearly I didn't. But yeah, I'm hoping we'll get an extra one because that was very silly of me. Thank you for pointing that out in the comments because I need to be more careful. I really do. Okay, with the rest of our day, I think we might wander into the sewers and see if we can catch this legendary fish. I don't have a bobber, so maybe I'll go to Willy's and buy a bobber quickly because I think I'll need a trap bobber. I think it's available all day though, so we should have time. And I haven't forgotten about the Adventurers Guild either. Hopefully we'll have time to do that today. Hello, Pam Willy. I'm here for a trap bobber, please. I might get two of them just in case it takes us a long time to get this fish. I don't want it to run out, you know? So the trap bobber basically causes the fish to escape slower when you aren't reeling them in. I swear by this bobber. I really like it because with the legendaries, they dart around so much that it's hard to stay on them so it definitely helps when they're darting all over the place so it's a big help you unlock the sewer hatch with the rusty key Ooh, let's go oh crobus isn't crobus crobus is the dwarf oh what a turn of events wait i was so excited to see crobus i'm crobus merchant of rare and exotic goods no you're not imposter Does Krobus have anything good in stock right now? Hmm. Not really. I mean, I could get a star drop, but it's expensive, so maybe I'll wait. I wouldn't mind getting a star drop, though, because it would give us more energy, which would be a huge advantage. But for now, let's fish for this dang legendary. Oh, we're getting loads of white algae here. Didn't we need white algae for something earlier on in the playthrough? Because this is a good spot to get it, apparently. Okay, this looks like a regular carp, maybe. Oh! <gasps> what is that? A bree skip? Whoa, it looks so cool. Doesn't sell for much, but it is cool though. Like a pretty little starfish or something. Okay, we are having no luck. I wonder if I should have gotten like curiosity lore or something. Because I think that attracts more specialty fish. Maybe that would have been better. We're just getting a lot of these brie skips right now. We've had a good handful of them already. Which is cool, they look cool, but it's unfortunately not what we need. <gasps> 
Here we go. It's on. It's on. No, I lost it. It bounced at the bottom. No. Okay, it's fine. We can we can have another chance, right? Be kind to us, game. Oh, I don't think I'm warmed up. <laughs> that wasn't even like terribly tricky. I just don't think I'm warmed up to fishing right now. Okay, take two. This is our redemption. Finally, we get another chance. Okay, this one's been a lot kinder so far. Yay! We did it! Moon number has been caught! Oh my gosh! Let's go! I think we're two down, two to go now, right? Halfway there in our last bundle for the fish tank. So hopefully we'll be able to get the autumn and the winter fish and finish off the legendary bundle. I'm very much hoping so at least because I think that they're harder, which scares me slightly. What level fishing are we now as well? How are we still not level 10 when we've caught two of the legendary fish? That's wild. Let's head up to the community center and donate this. And I think we are too late to go to the adventurers guild today, unfortunately. But we'll go tomorrow. I won't forget. We'll see if I forget. Oh, whilst I'm here at the saloon as well, I can check. Excuse me, Gus, Harvey. I need to get in there, sir. Please move out of my way. Yes, I can check what is available today from Gus's. Let's see, omelettes. Boo! We don't really need an omelette, unfortunately. I could replenish our salad collection though, because we only have three right now, so I might get a couple more. I've taken us back up to 10, which is a nice round number. Oh, that was a good first day of the episode. And tomorrow, Sandy will start working on our barn upgrade. That's huge. Oh, I forgot to donate my moon number, didn't I? I guess I'll do that tomorrow. One thing I have realized is we're gonna need goat cheese, which means we need a cheese press. So grass starter and oak resin is needed for that. I think I have oak resin, maybe? Doesn't seem like I do have any oak resin. So I'm gonna move this maple syrup tapper over to an oak tree instead. I think this is an oak tree. Yeah, we'll get oak resin from here then. And let's place our telephone right at the end of our bed so that we can always check it when we need to. And then we'll pet our kitty and head off to bed since it's gone midnight now. A beautiful first day. Ooh! Oh, apparently we just got the cheese press recipe, even though we definitely already had that, but... Okay, we also got the seed baker. Didn't we already have that too? I have no idea what's going on with these recipes, but we're level seven farming now, which is cool. Heck yeah, and level six foraging. Did we do foraging today? I didn't even notice. And we made a bunch more money, even though I didn't think we sold anything. But there we go, almost 5k. Okay, our pickaxe is ready now, finally, but it's a bad luck day. Of course it is. Typical. As soon as we can go mining, it's a bad luck day. Okay, let's go and pet our animal. Where is chicken today? And luckily it's not raining, so they can actually eat outside, which is nice for them. I'll gather whatever I have in the cave. Harvest my crops. Do all of the little farm chores I need to do. Oh, I actually do need to water today as well, so I'll grab my watering can. Apparently in the last episode, I also forgot to water my ancient fruit. Typical Lil. What was I thinking? All watered. Doesn't take too long anymore. Oh, there's one over here actually. A roof flower to water. And I'm going to sell all of these crops, I think. We've got loads already sitting in our chests. I think I would quite like to go mining today to try and get more geodes. Especially since we sold that obsidian, I do feel very annoyed at myself. So I think that's what we'll work on. I'll obviously go and grab my pickaxe as well. And we're going to donate our legendary fish. Of course we are. It's about time. And if we're mining, I'll also be close to the adventurers guild. So I'll have less chance of forgetting to pick up my reward. But you know me, I still will manage it probably. I don't know why I didn't use the minecarts to get here. What am I doing? Yay! Steel pickaxe. Thank you, Clint. Cheers. And up to the community center to drop off our little fish. This is so exciting. Only two fish are now needed to finish the fishing bundle. So we've got the winter one and the full one. And let the geode hunt begin. Even though I probably should go to the desert to do this. Hmm. Maybe I actually should. Let's just do it. Sure. Why not? I don't have any bombs on me. This is a bad idea. Oh well. Okay, our strat is to reset floor one and try and get as many ghosts as we can. That's it. We're just going to be resetting. We won't die, hopefully. Okay, if I can get coal, that means I can make bombs. This is huge. I can make six bombs, which I probably should have done before I came here. Okay, huge, huge. Still no ghosts, though. Oh, we got iridium from that slime. Let's go. 
Don't know why I'm killing slimes. All we need is ghosts. Pretty sure you can get level one to be a ghost floor, can't you? Maybe you can't. Starting to question everything now. And it's a bad luck day. What am I doing here? <laughs> Genuinely, what am I doing? Okay, we got our first Omni Geode. It was all worth it. This should be a ghost level, shouldn't it? But there's no ghosties. Okay, this is going devastatingly bad. I mean, we're getting gems and stuff, but we need ghosts. And that's literally all we need. I genuinely thought this would work. <laughs> Maybe I should have bought bombs. Hmm. Okay, so this is supposed to be a ghost level too. We're just not getting any ghosts. I'm confused. Perhaps a bit more planning needs to go into this next time. I'm happy to admit it. We're actually quite powerful. Like this dagger is not messing around. We can kill the serpents fairly easily. Ooh, we leveled up in mining. We've gotten so many gems, especially considering it's a bad luck day. But it's not what we need at all. Two diamonds. Okay, I won't say no to that. Still would prefer Omni Geodes though. First ghost. Oh my god, it's taken all day to encounter this one ghost. What? I need monster musk. That's what I really need. And we get one Omni Geode from it. Yay! Ooh, another diamond. Give us two. You know you want to. Okay, one's still good. Another diamond node? Look, we killed that in a one hit. What? No, the way we're actually powerful though. Also two diamonds that time. I'm just so perplexed at the lack of ghosts. <gasps> Ooh, immunity band. That looks cool. It's actually not that great, but I'll wear it. It looks really magnificent. It's made from enchanted purple wool. That's cool. Like how have these floors not had any ghosts on them? These are supposed to have ghosts on them. I'm so confused. They're literally the ghosty floors. Ghosties! Yay! Finally some ghosties. That's what we should have been having every time. And then this is a floor ghost should materialize on, but they haven't. So it's not that my theory doesn't work, we just haven't gotten lucky with ghost spawns, I guess. Because we are getting the floors needed by resetting, but we're just not getting the ghosts. Another one and a hole. Watch how our luck finally picks up right at the end of the day now. Let's jump in the shaft. Fell four levels. Ooh, is that prismatic? Let's see. Nope, just iridium. Boring. I thought it could be a prismatic. We did somehow get seven diamonds though. That's kind of wild. Last ghosty for today. We did manage to get six Omni Geodes. Not great, but okay. We also got a lot of gems. Like, look at the gem lineup. Honestly, kind of worth it for that. Look at all those gems. Beautiful. I can also buy some bombs from the merchant, I think. Ooh, I could get a spicy Luncuda. Let's grab some of those. We get three of those. I might get ourselves, ooh, a mega bomb for five iridium ore. Let's do it. If only we had three prismatic shards right now. I can also buy ourselves some regular bombs from our quartz. And that's about it. Oh, I didn't even check my telephone. Oops. I was supposed to use the telephone each day and I totally forgot. Okay, let's sell all these gems because we may as well make that cash money. And now we're more prepared for going back to the school caverns because we've got some bombs. We've got some food. It's all good. Level 8 mining. Let's go. And we're rich again. 14k. So many gems that we sold, honestly. 14k is really good. And I did forget to go to the Adventurers Guild again. Oops. That's not my fault. I was in the desert. Ooh, we got the monoculture achievement. What is that for? Ship 300 of one crop. Ooh, that's probably the Kofenjos, right? So can I call Gus in a morning? I don't think I can. Yeah, we're currently closed. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, but it does still tell us the daily special. It's a tortilla. So that's not very worth it for us. Okay, let's water all of the plants. And we do have the merchant in town today, so I think I'll pop off and see her if she's got any food items. That would be really good. Aside from that, honestly, I think I might go back to Skull Caverns. I just feel like it's what we need to be doing. Chicken looks really happy today. That's good, chicken. Hello, merchant. Okay. What does she have for us? Glazed passion root. I don't think that's needed. Coleslaw! <gasps> I think coleslaw might be needed. Hang on. I do believe coleslaw is needed. Okay, it's not needed here. Coleslaw for Jody. Yes, we can buy that. Also the glazed passion root. Wait, that's two recipes we need to buy. This is huge. Okay, glazed passion root, mine. And coleslaw, 
mine let's go oh i'm so happy let's run and donate those right away i'm really wondering if we should try our luck in the regular mines again see if we can get some geodes from there also i'm wondering if i should try and just open the geodes we already have because we might not need as many things once we've opened those okay jody here is your coleslaw so we only need two more items it would have been one had i donated the obsidian so sad but we've got this i believe in us and i do believe the orange bundle is in here which is now finished we finished the orange bundle heck yeah i was worried we weren't going to complete any bundles today oh my god 26 oak resin we actually needed oak resin for something. So the only thing we have left for the crafts room is the happy crops bundle, which honestly is very difficult. I don't think we have all quality sprinklers, but we definitely have these ones. An unmilled pommy trout might be something we get in full, I think. Iridium sprinkler, that's going to be tricky. And quality fertilizer, I don't know when we get that. Is that year two from Pierre? I actually don't remember. I might go and check Pierre's and see if it's for sale. But that is some nice progress. I'm glad we checked the merchant today. Do you have fertilizer? fertilizer for sale hmm they don't they only have speed grow right now okay let's open these geodes and see if we get any community center items great start give us the obsidian come on oh none of them were needed i don't think let's just double check yep definitely none were needed i can donate one of them but like we don't even need to donate anymore really because we have the sewers unlocked i guess i'll still donate it though to make gunther happy there's our stinking obsidian I don't get why you can't take it back. That's so sad. Right, let's go mining and see if we can get any regular geodes from here. Oh, we got another Monster Slayer goal complete. Killing Duggies is great. And the Adventurers Guild will open very soon. In fact, we can go and get there just as it opens. Look how well I'm doing. I'm here 10 minutes before and look, I am in just as it opens. And I'm getting my rewards. We get a hard hat and... A legendary Jacob's Edge. It's rubbish. The level 3 sword. We have a level 18 dagger. This is nothing special. Okay, at least I got my rewards though. So no one can tell me off. Because I remembered for once. Okay, we're at 8 geodes already. I honestly just think bombing the whole place is the way to go. We're getting quite a few. We're just rushing the mines and bombing. <gasps> we got the passion root which is needed for the dwarf bundle nice i genuinely think this has gone really well we've managed to get 15 geodes one more for luck and then we'll head home can we get a geode no we can't okay we got 15 geodes we also got an omni geode as well and we got this passion route which is amazing i'd consider this a good day i think it went well so tomorrow we can start by opening up all of these geodes and see if we get anything cool from them we also always get loads of squid ink too which just sells for a bunch which is nice i will need to make more bombs though if we go mining again and let's head to sleep 6,000 gold. Nice. It's kind of cool because we can just like sell everything. We don't really need to keep hold of anything. I think that's partly why we're making so much money. Oh, and it's a good luck day as well. So we're definitely going to go to the mines and see what luck we can have there today. Let's start by watering, of course. And we have honey to harvest today as well. I wonder if Robin will be done on our barn, actually. Maybe we could get the coop started today. And also buy a goat. Let's pet our little cow. Hello, chicken. In. they're still a baby so we can't milk them yet and the barn is upgraded so we can get a goat and start on the coop this episode has been huge i can't lie we've made so much progress oh and we got an orange which was needed for the orange bundle but luckily we finished that already Pet the kitty i'll also water the kitty because i know a lot of you in the comments hate that i never do that i'm so sorry i'm forgetful pierre wants a water corn do we have any of those? I don't think we do. I don't actually know what that is, Pierre. Not gonna lie. Okay, let's quickly check what was needed for the coop. So I can go to Robin's and get that done. So we need one piece of white algae and eight pieces of clay. Oh, clay is always my downfall in this save. It really is. We definitely have the algae. We have three pieces of clay, so we need to get five more pieces. Oh, I wish we could just pay extra. We're so rich. <laughs> okay well either way we can go and get ourselves a goat to start with and also open up any of our geodes too i should also check what is the special item for gus today rue flower parmesan 
Okay, let's see if that's needed. No, it doesn't seem like it at all. No roux flour parmesan for us, thank you, Gus. Let me quickly make some more bombs as well whilst I'm here. Because we are going to be in need of those when we go to the mines. I think we're going to just repeat what we did yesterday. Because that seemed to work really well. We got 15 whole geodes. We're going to be grinding the mines a lot, it seems. Until we get all of these artifacts and minerals, I think this is our best way of spending time. Because we're kind of just waiting till fall for a lot of the other stuff. And also, the mines is a really good way to make money, it seems. Hello, I would like to purchase a goat, please. And I think we're going to name this goat pig perfect we're really getting confused with the animals and i might also buy some hay as well because i do feel a bit bad for my little animals and i keep bragging about being so rich and then i don't even feed my animals like that's not a good look so <laughs> we're gonna buy them some hay we got 50 pieces and now let's go and open these geodes I'm excited. Actually, I might go to Pierre's first so I can sell what's in my inventory. So I've got more of an empty inventory to open geodes with. That seems like a better idea. Does Krobus ever sell anything like Omni geodes? I should check that maybe. Okay, let's sell all of these. Nice. Oh my god, imagine if I sold the passion root. I would simply cry. Let's go to Krobus and see if he sells anything like that. Because I could see him selling like a stack of Omnis. Also, doesn't he sell an Iridium sprinkler? What day of the week is that? Oh heck, maybe we should be checking his shop. Because we do need an Iridium Sprinkler for the Happy Crops bundle. Okay, farmer's lunch. I don't think that's needed. Okay, we need to start checking Krobus often. Pretty sure farmer's lunch isn't needed. The sad thing is I think pale broth and also algae soup, which is needed for the dwarf, are both things that I can get from this area to the left. But I'm pretty sure to open this area, I need to finish the community center. So that's really annoying and inconvenient. I don't know how we're going to get those items without finishing the community center. I'm not sure. But let's not worry about that. Let's just open some geodes. We won't worry about things we can't control. Okay, Clint, give us some good luck, please. We need it. Okay, actually, I think that might be an item needed. Maybe. Or maybe it just looks similar. I don't know. Either way, we've got two of them. Where's the obsidian? Give us an obsidian. Oh my god, three thunder eggs, please. Clint, have some originality. Well, all of that hard work in the mines, and what did it accumulate to? <sighs> we don't need any of them, apparently. Oh, the alamite looks really similar to the geminite. They're not the same. <laughs> This is so sad. Okay, I guess I'll go and donate the things we have. This is getting really sad. Hi, Marnie. Here, take my alamite and my whatever this is and enjoy it. And on our way up to the mines, I've just popped to the community center to drop off our passion route for the dwarf. Yay! One item left for him. I think it's going to either be the Gemini or the algae soup. I don't think the Kofenjo candy is going to be possible. Another day, another mine trip. Also, I can't remember if we can talk to the dwarf yet. I should check that. Let's see. Because they might sell some things at their shop. Oh, and it's Probus. Who'd have thought it? Okay, we can't actually talk to the dwarf yet, unfortunately. I wonder how many dwarf scrolls we're still waiting on. Just one? Dwarf scroll two. Let's see where that's usually gotten from. According to the wiki, it is found from frost bats or dust sprites. Okay, interesting. Or tilling soil from level 1 to 39. It's mostly gotten from the ice floors, it seems. And it's the green one, I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's see what we can do today. What ruckus we can cause in the mines. And it is a good luck day today. So we might have more chance of getting better drops, perhaps. Okay, it's getting late. We got another 12 geodes plus two omnis. I do like this way of doing it. You know, it's not incredibly quick or efficient, probably. But we get a couple each time and that's enough for me to keep going. <laughs> if only we got more clay, though. I thought we would get clay because we were hoeing quite a bit. Or like bombing, I guess. And I thought we'd get clay from it, but... But we got no pieces of clay, unfortunately. So we still can't get the coop. But I will start the day tomorrow opening geodes and hopefully we'll get some clay from them maybe. Or else maybe hoeing outside of robins was a good strat. If we just hoe the whole ground, we might get enough clay from there. And we made just 2,600 today. Not as much as we have been making, but still a nice decent amount. And we have a recipe on the telly. It is a marquee roll, which I don't think we need. But we do have the merchant in town, which is huge. We can go and see if she has any more recipes for us. And we'll also call up Gus, of course. Okay, what do you have for us today, Gus? Pink cake. I don't think it's needed. 
Heck, come on, Gus, come through for once. He is so reluctant to give us what we want, isn't he? God, the layout of this farm is just atrocious. I literally can't wait for the new season so it can look pretty again. This is horrible. <laughs> Such a mess. It doesn't have to look cute. It just has to be practical. That's what I got to remind myself. Okay, let's go and say hello to our animals as well. And I can actually feed them today. Have you aged up yet, chicken? No, chicken is still a baby. They are literally just a baby. We're going to be waiting on the large milk for a while, I think. Because they have to age up and then you have to feed them like multiple times. Okay, let's travel down to the merchant to start the day with. And then over to Clint's to open up the geodes. This is our new daily routine, I think. I'm also always on the lookout for artifact spots as well, because they would be real groovy for us. Okay, we've had coleslaw before, and we needed it, but we don't need it anymore. No, is that the only food item? What a shame. And she's selling basic fertilizer instead of quality. Why would she do this to me? Why? It's so evil. <laughs> Honestly. I'm also going to check Krobus. I think this is going to start being part of our daily routine too. Just on the off chance he's selling an iridium sprinkler, you know? Nope, nothing today. Thanks, Krobus. I wonder if his shop is randomized now. It doesn't seem to be. Those look like the items he usually sells, to be fair. Hello, Clint. Please, please, please give us some good stuff. Well, that's a terrible start, not stone. We've had so many sandstones. Clint, please. Okay, I will take the clay. This is awful. Put me out of my misery, Clint, please. Oh my gosh. I mean, I don't mind the clay. Terrible. Genuinely awful. It's actually sad when you put in a whole day of work and then you get nothing. Wow. Thanks, Clint. You are my favorite. At least we have one thing to donate to Gunther. Okay, we're filling up the museum. It's getting real, real full in there. Okay, I would like to dig outside of Robin's to see if we can get this remaining clay because we only need three pieces. Okay, two. Two pieces to go. One piece to go. Okay, let's get this coop. Yay! I love that we can get clay that easily from Robins now. Okay, we actually have enough. Let's get this coop. I didn't make space for it, but hopefully we can just stick it next to the barn or something. Yeah, we can just stick it here. This does not look cute at all. Look at my poor animals. They're like, what is she doing? Yay! We have the coop built. You know what? We've done so well this episode. <laughs> I can't lie. I'm going to run to Gus's really quick actually and replenish my coffee because I can't stand doing mining with no coffee. Let's get some more coffees and we'll also grab some more salads whilst we're here too. Thanks Gus. Okay, we're going to do some slow mining today and see if we can get a couple more geodes. I had a little list written for this episode because I knew there was a lot I wanted to get done and we've ticked off every single thing. So I'd say we've done pretty well. I didn't actually bring any bombs with me, so I'm actually just going to break stone and see how many geodes we get this way. I feel like this is quite therapeutic though. Whenever I get a bomb, I can use it. That will go a bit faster. This is kind of therapeutic, just breaking rock in the mines. I kind of love it. I've just realized I've been collecting geodes, but I should really check which geodes these actually come from because they might not come from normal geodes. They might have to be like frozen or magma or something. Okay, so obsidian has to be found from magma geode or omni geode. It's good I checked. <laughs> Let's look for bone flute. Bone flute can be gotten from an artifact trove or a fishing treasure chest. Okay, or digging up artifact spots. So it's not from geodes. Okay, this is good to know. What about a Gemini? I'm now realizing all my efforts may be useless. Gemini is from an Omni Geode or a Frozen Geode? I can't believe I've been wasting so much time on this. Okay, Rusty Cog isn't that necessary because we're getting large milk anyway, but let's just check. It's from Fishing Chests, Tilling in the Mines or Skull Caverns or Artifact Troves. And then Kent, there's nothing for Kent. Okay, so literally there's no reason for us to be getting normal geodes. There's nothing we can get from them. That is, um, hilarious. I have been wasting my time. <laughs> okay, let's go to the frozen levels, I guess, or magma. Oh my god, that is so humbling. Wow, I feel like a fool. 
Okay, it's getting late. At least we know now. We did waste some time this episode, but it's okay because now we know we have the knowledge to do better. Um, we managed to get six Omni Geodes and six Normal Geodes, which is useless. But we got the six Omnis, so hey, maybe Obsidian is in there. Maybe Gemini is in there. Maybe we'll finish the bundles with whatever's in these Omni Geodes. Who knows? <laughs> But um, we'll find out tomorrow. We'll open those up tomorrow. And then I think I'm going to do some fishing tomorrow since we've done a lot of mining this episode. And we usually finish with some fishing anyways. And we can actually get the bone flute from a chest. So we may as well do some fishing. But of course, we'll open up the geodes firstly and do all of our other little chores as well. But for now, we'll sleep. That was painful finding out the truth. But it's better to know. It's better to know. It really makes me feel like I should be checking the recipes and how to get those as well. Maybe soon. I've had enough pain for today. Okay, Robin will finish our new building in two days. It's Demetrius's birthday and a neutral luck day. We're going to start with all of our farm chores, of course. Oh, we have an ancient fruit. Is it going to be a gold quality? I actually have luck food. Should I eat one? Let's eat a spicy lancuda to see if the luck helps. Plus one luck. I don't know if luck helps with harvesting. Honestly, a farming skill would probably be better, but let's harvest it and see. And was it? No, it was basic quality. Oh, well, that's sad. Never mind. We have another chance tomorrow. We'll see if that's a good luck one. It's <laughs> so sad. Just getting the basic quality just sums up this episode, I think. <laughs> oh, and we can actually milk chicken. Let's go. Hopefully they'll be giving us large milk soon. Thank you, chicken. And pig is still too young right now. What did we need again for a cheese press? Oak resin and a grass starter. Oh, we can totally get a grass starter today. And then we can start making cheese. That would be cool to, to eat in the mines. I have my fishing rod, so let's head off. I want to go to Pierre's so we can buy a grass starter and we can make this cheese press. And then we'll go to Clint's and open the geodes that we do have. And then we will do some fishing to finish the episode with. This is the penultimate episode of summer. So next episode will be the final summer episode of the playthrough. That is kind of wild. We have to make sure we get everything done for summer. And then we'll be entering autumn and we'll be able to get a load of the bundles finished in autumn, I think. I am excited to find out what autumn has in store for us. Hello, Leah. I would just like to buy one grass starter, please. And let's make ourselves a cheese press. Perfect. Clint, please give us some luck today. I'm going to open these geodes just because... I feel bad for myself. So let's see if we get anything cool, I guess. <laughs> and then we'll open the Omnis and hope to get something better. Yeah, no wonder we were getting repeats with this one. Okay, Omnis. Come on. That's already cooler than everything else we just got. Come on, Clint. No. We've had that. Gold. No. Okay, give us something with this last one. Oh, sandstone. Ouch. We didn't even get anything new to give to Gunther. Gosh, that's sad. Let's just sell it all to him, I guess. Thanks, Clint. Yay. I guess he just wants us to keep coming back for more. He just likes us that much, you know? Yeah, I haven't seen any artifact spots around town. This whole episode, actually. How weird. I'm going to check the beach for artifact spots, I guess. Nope, nothing. Oh, I could go to Willy's and see if there's a bobber that increases the amount of chests you get. Because that would be helpful. Because obviously we want to get the bone flute from fishing. So if we get more chests, we have more chances. Okay, what do we have? Seems like the best option we really have is the treasure hunter. It has a slightly increased chance to find treasures. So I guess we'll get one of those. Every little helps, right? And we can plop that on instead of our trap bobber. And let's see if this helps. So far we've had no chests. It actually feels like we've had less luck with chests which seems um unfair at least we're still gaining fishing skill because that's gonna help us when it comes to getting the legendaries later on we're still only halfway through level eight i would love to be level 10 by you know fall so it can help with the full legendary fish that would be cool and the winter legendary fish we're definitely gonna need as top level as we can get because the winter legendary is rough Oh my god, our fishing tackle has worn out. We didn't get a single chest on the line that entire time of using that tackle. I do not think the treasure tackle is worth it. I'm gonna say it. We're on neutral luck day as well. Like, I'd expect to have had one chest at least. Come on. Maybe this is a really unfortunate place to fish. Maybe I'll go fish in the river instead. 
I also want to run to Clint's because I forgot to check him this morning, so I'll see what his special item is. And then we'll continue to fish in the river. How ominous and scary. Is that Penny? Maru. Maru as Morris is so cursed. This is genuinely terrifying. That's worse, actually. It's worse when you can see him. <laughs> Morris, absolutely terrifying. Okay, what is the special item? Quilt dinner. And that is not needed, unfortunately. Let's go fishing in the river. Okay, so we fished the remainder of the day. We're almost level nine fishing. We're getting closer and we did get an incredible amount of fish. We got lots, so I can sell all of those. We'll wake up with even more monies to our name. The only thing that's going well in this playthrough is the money, honestly. Everything else is kind of at a standstill. I think mostly we're waiting for fall because we'll be able to plant a load of new seeds and get new fish and stuff like the legendary. So I think when fall comes, we'll have a new lease of life. So that's exciting. Ooh, and we have more pickled clemmy tie peppers to sell. So that's a bit of extra money. And I could put some more collarillos in there. I think when these ones are done, I might move them into my bedroom and we could have them all along the bottom here. We'll have a jar factory in my bedroom. And that is the final day of the episode we made almost 10k that's pretty good fishing got us a lot of money today holy heck i thought we did quite well with catching fish so almost 10k but that is where i'm gonna wrap up thank you all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode next time will be the final episode of summer so let me know what you think in the comments below if you have any tips or tricks or advice please do let me know and i will see you then thank you all so much for watching goodbye everyone <laughs>